Hey there, Avra here with Cami. So this is another one of those short and sweet videos that I just want to cover one topic in. In this video, I wanna take a look at split and merge. So split and merge might be something that you've heard about before. Maybe I was able to cover it in your face-to-face -face session that you attended, or maybe you watched a recorded video from one of the sessions and maybe I didn't get to it. So either way, whether you would like just a quick repeat of split and merge or whether, you know, we weren't able to get to it and I pointed you toward this video. Welcome. I'm happy that you're here. So I'm going to share my screen and I am going to show you one of my favorite Cami tools and that is split and merge. So split and merge can be found here on the Cami dashboard. Remember to get to the Cami dashboard. You want to use that Google Chrome extension that's up there in your extension bar or in a new tab, you can type in Cami, K-A-M-I dot app, A-P-P. -P. Okay, so K-A-M-I period A-P-P. So down here in the middle of the screen on the left, there is a split and merge button. So what does split and merge do? Split and merge does just what it says. It either splits a file apart or it merges, it, merges several files together. Let's take a look. Clicking on split and merge, it takes us to an initial screen where we can go in and we can pick our file. So if you want to pick something from your computer, you click on this button. If you want to pick something from Google Drive, you choose this one. If you want to click, if you want to choose a file from OneDrive, you click this one. Or if you want to pull some stuff in from the Cami library, you choose this button. I'm going to choose Google Drive because this is where I have a large PDF file. So in one of my folders here, I have a large PDF file. Let's say that this is something that I got from my textbook publisher. So I'm going to hit select. I've clicked on it and I've hit select. It loads it into this screen here. And as soon as it loads up, I'm going to use the next button at the bottom of the page. So right here is this purple next button and I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And what it does is it brings a copy of this file into this split and merge environment. So you guys, you don't have to worry that this is something that is going to mess with your original document. It is definitely made a copy of it. Okay. And look, this is a really long PDF. So just like something that, you know, we get from a textbook publisher or potentially something we find online or we get from teachers pay teachers, anything that's really long, maybe you just want one or two pages out of it, right? So this is, you know, all about ratios. Maybe we just need page three and we just need page five for our students. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the pages that we need and drag them down here onto this row. Kind of, these are like little rows or shelves, okay? So I'm gonna grab page three, drag it and drop it right in here. And then I could grab page five as well and make it its own new file now. So now instead of you know the whole name ratios multi-page, I could call it, pages three and five. So I give it a new file name over here on the left, okay? And from there, I use the export button. So this button right here is how I can now take this and do something with it, okay? So I'm gonna hit export. And now we choose, where do we wanna save it to, right? We can either download it to our computer. So we've made a new file that is its own entity, or we could push it straight into Cami if we wanted to use it in Cami, or if you wanted to save it to Google Drive or OneDrive, you could do that as well. So you choose how you want to export or save that file. And that way then that can be used by your students. You can push that out to your students. If you put it into Cami, get it ready and then put it right into Canvas, that'd be a great way of doing that. So that's the split side of split and merge. Now let's look at the merge side of split and merge. So merging is obviously putting things together. I'm gonna click here again on the split and merge button. And from here, I am going to click on a couple of different locations to pull in a bunch of different files. So I'll click on my computer. And I'll go on down and grab this frog dissection worksheet, okay? And then the next thing I'll do is click on Google Drive right here. And I'll go in and choose a couple of things from in here. 
So let's say I choose this map and I'll choose this reflection activity. And then I'll hit select down here. Quick tech tip, I held down control on my keyboard and it allowed me to select more than one item at a time. If you're using a MacBook, you would hold down command. Okay, but if you're on a Windows PC or a Chromebook, hold down control. All right, now I'm gonna go one more place. I'm gonna go to this Kami library and jump in and let's say I wanna grab this activity as well. I'll go ahead and hit open with Kami and it will bring it in. So now I have these four different activities. Let's say that I'm just building out kind of a week long packet for students to do. What I'll do is hit next. And now look what's happened. Each of these files has come in on their own row. And I can grab them and drag them up here all onto one row in order to be able to build a packet. Now let's say, oh shoot, I forgot one. All right, I forgot one in my Google Drive, no problem. Follow my mouse down to the bottom right of the screen and I'm gonna go to this little circle with the plus sign in it. I'm gonna go up to my Google Drive and click and I'll go back to a folder and I'll grab this Pearl Harbor reading right here and hit select, okay? And it brings it in now. Now, here's the really cool thing. This is a multi-page document, but maybe I don't need all of these pages. I just want them to read the two that are right here. What I can do is go, all right, I want this to be here. And then I want page two to be right after it. And then I could say, you know what? I don't think I need this one after all. So check it out, guys garbage can icon, delete it, no worries, okay? If this page had been scanned and it was backwards or upside down, I could use these buttons here to rotate it around. Do you see what I'm doing there? Rotating it around, okay? So that's those are rotate buttons. There's also a clone button, which is really cool. So check this out. Let's say I want to show you what this looks like. I'm going to use this little preview button right here. All right, reflection activity. Oh, that's a great reflection activity. And I actually want them to reflect after each activity. So watch, I'll use the clone button, click, click, and then drag. Read page one, reflect. Read page two, reflect. Then take a look at this map, reflect. That kind of thing, right? So you can duplicate pages. You can delete pages, you can rotate pages, or you can preview pages, okay? If you can't remember what it what this page looks like because it's too small, okay? And then if you don't need these extra ones down here, you can simply go right here and use this little X up here in the top left and delete that whole row. We're done with that file, okay? Remember, this isn't messing with any of your originals. This is making copies of them. Now, speaking of copies, in here, this is called frog dissection right now. We don't wanna call it frog dissection anymore. Maybe this is week one packet, okay? But let's say that you are teaching several sections of a course, right? So maybe you have, you know, first period, second period, third period, or something like that. If you want, you can duplicate this entire packet with this button right here. So now we can call it, um, you know, section two, week one packet. Okay, you could do it again if you wanted. Duplicate and then, you know, call it, you know, section three, so on and so forth. If you make multiple copies and you want to save them all at one time, you can go up to the top right and choose export all. And then it will immediately, immediately let you either download the whole thing is one PDF file, or it'll let you store it right into your Google Drive or right into your OneDrive, okay? Or you can you can export them one at a time, export, and then that way you could push it straight into Kami if you wanted to, okay? So split and merge is really about either taking something big and splitting it apart, or it's about taking several different files 
and merging them together. Remembering that as you do, you don't have to use the whole file. You can just pick and choose which pages you want from which file and it'll work. One last thing to know, when you're merging things together, they can be all different types of files. So it could be a Google slideshow, it could be a Word doc, it could be a Google doc, it could be a picture file, an image, like a JPEG, okay? It can be all a bunch of different stuff, bring it all together, and then it'll make it all into one nice PDF for you that you can use in Kami or that you can push straight into Canvas.